Yeah, hello. Hi, Tony. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. So, yeah, Tony, hi, hi, hello. Where are you? Where I, are you I'm reaching? Sorry. Where are I, you reaching from us India. from? Today? I, I'm from India, Mumbai. Okay. Yeah, actually, hi, Hamza, Abbas, Doctor Imran. Hello, Tony. Yes, I'm Bo, and I'm uh, Ijaz. I'm sorry, I'm not able to get my video on. It's it's already two thirty in the night here. That, that's and okay. Just, right. Yeah. So actually, I've got I've got two questions. Uh, you know, it's just uh, just wanted to ask if a person, uh, you know, if, if if he hasn't taken his shahada, right? So would he still be a Muslim if he believes in uh, the Creator? Uh, uh, is is it something that I need to take my shahada? You know, that I need to uh, testify? That I need to go to the masjid to? Uh, you, you, you don't know, have to, to go to the masjid. Shahada? You don't have to go to the masjid, Tony, but you have to take your shahada. You need to take the shahada oh, because the shahada is a confirmation and a completion of your intention. Because your intention is just your intention. Believing is just your intention to do the shahada, but you have to take the shahada. I, I, were you? Uh, are you a Christian or what, what religion are you, Tony? Yeah, I mean, I'm born and raised as a Catholic. Uh, I'm actually... I was born and raised in Mumbai, but then I'm from down south. Okay. So, uh, if you know Tamil, uh, you know they speak Tamil in down south. Yeah. So, I mean, I've been, I've been a, you know, I've been a, a believer from the past two years. So, when we talk about, I've, I've read, I'm, I've been looking into, uh, you know, the, uh, I've been reading Quran and, you know, uh, and uh, I've been, I, I've also learned how to pray in Arabic. First, I used to, I used to uh, do it in English, and then I uh, met a, you know, a scholarly person here in Mumbai, and then he told me how to, uh, you know, you got, you got to pray it in Arabic. So I learned four kuls, and I've got, I, I learned two uh, surahs, and uh, you know, it's just I haven't taken my shahada, I haven't told anyone. All I do is, you know, within the four walls, that's what I, you know. Uh, I, I tried my, I, I had my Ramadan in the last two uh, years. I did that, but it's just I haven't taken my shahada. And I'm, I think, is it is it the, that the confirmation or to testify, do I need to do it to the whole world? Or if Allah knows me that, you know, uh, I believe in... Uh, well, in Tony, to make, things, to, make things, to make things easy for you, you can do the shahada with us today, now, inshallah. Beautiful. And the other thing is, before I do that, you know, uh, I've, I've got two questions. I've got two questions, which is uh, actually I'm looking into it. I'm a little bit confused here. Just help me out. Uh, the thing is, uh, one is uh, uh, the homo sapien things. I, I was just looking into certain things, you know, the past few days. And I'm, and I was thinking, uh, you know, we are um, looking into a lot of things where these people are talking about, you know, we've already got. Uh, homo sapien fossils and we've got uh, homo erectus and these sort of fossils they are able to find and stuff like that but when you when you look into uh, you know the the verses in quran it says that adam you know alayhi salam had the intelligence to talk he already was in uh, conversing with allah ta'ala and uh, you know uh, when uh, uh, jibril alayhi salam was asking on certain things jibril alayhi salam even suggested uh, to do farming in certain things, which I'm uh, just help me out, just correct me. In this terms, when I'm looking at Adam Ali Salam's uh, intelligence is not somewhat related to the Homo sapiens or Homo erectus. What we look at, you know, it, this is some sort of advanced intelligence what Adam Ali Salam had. You know, it's it's not it's not we I cannot have it compared with this Homo sapiens or erectus and this fossils what they are bringing out. So uh, could you give me could you give me uh, could you shed some light onto it? How how is it? Is Adam Ali Salam was a Homo sapien or was it a separate advanced uh, human being? Or how did we come up from Adam Ali Salam? Because when we look into this Andaman and Nicobar Island, and there are certain people who are still living in that way, uh, you know, uh, not very civilized, and we call them Adivasis or how like hunters and gatherers and stuff like that, you know, those people. So can you can you shed some light on it? I just wanted to. It's not that it's not going to, you know, uh, it, it would fluctuate my iman or everything. I, at the end of the day, it's the creation it's, and it's the creator who does. You know, God knows best about it. But I, I'm just in, in in terms of gaining knowledge and how does it, you know, how does it work and all. Yes. 
just let, let's you know, get inshallah the, maybe the, uh, let's get the doctor to uh, inshallah uh, deal with that because uh, Imran Mashla has perhaps out of us the most experience in that in that field uh, Dr Imran you're muted just to, you know uh, like it. um um it's interesting I think that you seem to be um already practicing um and doing the things that you need to do and I think that it's really yeah. important that you take the shahada I think that's probably the most important thing um and what you can spend the rest of your life looking at these sorts of questions because people have been asking these questions for a very long time and and what it is is conflating a religion with science in the sense that there is a religious a, a historical sorry a scientific narrative of history so it's not science in the sense of repeatable testable experimentation that can be falsified it's looking at data and then trying to put onto that data a theory that would try and tie the data together uh, one of the things that you said was that um, this idea of intelligence now there's no way to determine intelligence from fossils there's no way to determine language from fossils there's no way to determine culture from fossils so even this idea of trying to compare this with that and if I, if so the, so the, I'll, I'll give you a basic uh, I'll give you the uh, sort of basic outline and what I would suggest is for your own sake as well as for the uh, you know for uh, to make to really step make sure that you're in the Dean essentially and doing everything so the moment the brother Hamza would put it is like you're you're doing all the work but you're not getting paid um, and so to a certain extent that may be true because you have to you know really the shahada is important if you if you're able to take it i mean if you're able to learn the salah and you're able to learn all these surahs i'm i'm quite surprised that you haven't been able to find somebody to take the shahada when this is your ideal opportunity so may allah make it easy for you and we'll do that in a moment but what i would say is that um there there is a scientific narrative for the data that's available for the fossils and the history and the sciences the idea of science is that there are no non-natural explanations so every explanation has to be some natural cause it can't be outside of that so science will not give you an answer outside of natural causes that's the only way it can think it's restricted to this Allah SWT says in the Quran that he created Adam from his own hands and he was placed on the earth in the you know, that's in a nutshell so we so it's quite plausible for within the stream of whatever evolutionary processes were happening whatever uh, humanoid type of features that there were that Adam al Islam was placed within that and that's that's perfectly reasonable way of reconciling the two things together or you, or you don't have to reconcile the two things together you can say yeah that's the scientific view my view is based upon uh, a non-materialist uh, 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 philosophical worldview and that's fine as well so there are many different ways of approaching this but you can't really get culture and intelligence from even looking at DNA or even looking at uh, um, fossils or even looking at whatever you're going to find you're not going to really get that um, I hope that helps inshallah yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, um, uh, it's just a little bit, I mean, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, st the thing is, uh, you guys able to hear me, right? We Am I hear. audible? No, yeah, no, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, so I, I do understand that, see, it's, it, it has nothing to do with what I believe in. At the end of the day, uh, uh, the creator knows best about it, you know. It comes after the create. It, it's all in the creation, so that has nothing to do with the creator. You know, uh, creator's knowledge is you know we just not able to grasp it. Uh, won't be able to understand it. But uh, when we talk about Adam Ali Salam, right? Uh, the intelligence what Adam Ali Salam had, but uh, and at the same time, was it uh, when we say that uh, you know we come uh, from the lineage of Adam Ali Salam, he was the first human being. Uh, but at the same time, did we have any other uh, sort of? Uh, uh, at the same time, did we have like if we say Adam Ali Salam is a Homo sapien, did we have any sort of other uh, uh, sort of a manipulation which were less intelligence, uh, but were but were in some other region where Adam Ali Salam was in another region? Or, I'm just, I'm just confused. I mean, I, I'm just so, all over the so, place. Okay, I just want to ask you this. So, what difference would that make? I mean, it wouldn't make any difference, right? Let's say that they were. Let, let's just look at this. Think about this. Yes, let's just say. All right, we'll take the position. There were some humanoid-type creatures that had some sort of intelligence, not like Adam. Okay, 
or let's say actually none of those humanoid creatures didn't have this intelligence and that was purely from uh, Allah to Adam al Islam and he came and this is how we get our culture and our language etc there's no way for us to differentiate between yeah. these there's no physical access to any of this information you have no way of working out what someone uh, a, a, any other a bipeds intelligence etc would have, there's no way to know, determine that and it doesn't actually affect anything that you you would believe as a muslim so the confusion is that right, you're trying right. to you're still trying to answer a question that you don't have access to the information to answer the only way you would know yeah, that is if you were there at the time and you were having a conversation with these supposedly intelligent bipeds who are not uh, Adam al Islam's uh, progeny, right. and you're not. Yeah. So this is really conjecture, and you know there's a way of approaching uh, data and information. Either you can let it affect you internally, and then you, you struggle, and it becomes like a, a tar, and you're sh like treacle, and you can't really tr move in it. Or you can be like a uh, like someone who's in a in a glass ball of iman, and the, all of the, the the doubts and things they come, and they can look at them and say, oh, that's an interesting doubt. Let me see how I'd, I'd answer this, and it doesn't affect you internally. And you have to be your approach to these right. things when people raise them has to be the second type of approach, where you don't let these things affect you, and you can just talk about them and discuss them, knowing that my basis and the reason right. that I am Muslim is strong. And you seem to be much like someone who's already made the journey. You've told us you're practicing, mashallah. You're yeah. praying your salah. Sure. So, uh, uh, so it's just uh, you know, uh, it's not today or yesterday. I mean, I've, I I started two years back in 2017 the thing is i came across this uh, book i mean i had a lot of other things uh, uh, yeah 2000 uh, sorry 2019 i'm sorry 2019 yeah it's been two years uh, it's just i came across this book and uh, i wasn't the same person before and uh, when i read this book it was actually a sira uh, the life of our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, when I came across this, I got got to know a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, prophets and certain things which which was pretty much relevant to what I believe in already uh, in in the church in the Christianity. I've, I've I've been an altar boy in my when I started. I, I've been an altar server, uh, you know, in the church, going early in the morning to the mass and stuff like that. So when I came across uh, certain names like uh, Noah, we call it Noah alayhi salam and uh, Abraham, Ibrahim alayhi salam, and a lot of things, a lot of similarities. And then I came across certain debates. I looked into your your debates as well. And then I did my research on book. And this has been happening within the four walls. No one knows about it except my mom. Uh, except my mom knows about it. Not even my friends know about it. So I I, I looked into the Bible where, you know, Jesus, uh, Isa alayhi salam, nowhere tells that he is the one the worthy of worship and stuff like that which you know pretty much seemed logical for me and then when i looked into it and i looked into a lot of it then i got into more uh, you know in order to finding the truth and explaining my mom as well so i i started explaining my mom i got into i quoted her own bible on certain things and stuff like that you know i took verses from you all when you all debate i i actually told my mom about it and my mom started reading, reading the quran you know, she's reading a year but still her she, she's not ready to accept it she's saying that uh you know she likes jesus and you know she isn't worshiping but at the end of the day these guys have been pilgrimage and at, at the end of the day it becomes a worship but i tell her you know don't do that but she believes in and uh, in allah allah Taala, and she tony. tells me that you're tony do it are you ready to take a shahada so, yeah. Yeah, it's just the thing is, uh, yeah, I can I can do it right now. Let's do it's that not, then. I mean, Let's I've, do that then. Let's get that out of the way. And then you can talk about your mum and all sorts. At least you got something to give her then. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, uh, I, right. I can say it myself or I can say it with you all if it's true. I've, I've, I've been already been saying it in my prayers. I've been, yeah. I've been praying. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Do it then, man. Do it then. Yeah. I should do Allah, 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 wa I should do Anna Muhammad and Abdi wa Rasulullah. Alhamdulillah. Welcome yeah, to Islam. I mean, been, yeah, thank you so much. I mean, I, I've been here two years. No one knows about it. Uh, I went to meet uh, uh, Hafiz. Uh, he told me that you got to read it in Arabic. I read the four fold and then Surah Al Feel and Surah Al Qadr and Ayat Al Kursi. I, I, that's an ayah. I, 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 I've been into this. I've already. It's just. Uh, 
I haven't told anyone except right now when I'm specifying it. Uh, but I've been a Muslim for the past few years. No one knows about it except my family who know, knows it. Now I think a lot of people are watching it right now, so they might be knowing about it. So yeah, and I'm happy and I've been watching you guys a lot. It's just a little bit. And I've got another question in Surah. I looked into this. Sorry, mate. This, there, this, uh, this this stream is for non-Muslims. You're Muslim, mate. Sorry. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> one question I've got, I've got in this year. <laughs> brother Tony, if I can ask you, Brother Tony, uh, because you were obviously Christian before, what what was the trigger? What was the actual thing that said, you know what, Islam is true and I and I need to accept this? Yes, I, I got it. What happened is there was this Vama attack, something happened uh, in India. Uh, where the ha the fighter jet went into Pakistan and you know the fighter uh, person got caught and stuff like that. So there was a little bit of things happening around here. Hope you guys know about it. This uh, oh, yeah, I know this... about that. That's right. Where the pilot was treated very well in Pakistan. It happened in 2019. So what happened is yeah. I was traveling to my work in the morning. Okay, so I had I knew this uh, person in in the train. You know how Indian train is, right? It's it's very much crowded. A lot of uh, things happen early in the morning. So I saw this person just uh, you know murmuring. It was Tasbia, you know they recite it uh, in the train. So there was this person doing it. I thought to myself, why is he doing that? If he is doing that, maybe. He shouldn't be doing that because this is not the scenario. It's just a lot of uh, things going around. He shouldn't be just murmuring at this point of time. People might think in a different way and stuff like that. So I felt it, and you know, I felt it in a different manner. But then the next day, I wanted to know more about it, like what exactly it is. So after this incident, uh, you know, uh, I I was in a in the mode of reading books. I started reading books at that point in order to. Uh, you know, get rid of certain habits. You know, get get new habits, good habits. So I started reading book. And one fine day in the night at twelve o'clock, I came across this PDF called uh, "The Split of the Moon" something, and I I just downloaded that downloaded that PDF in order to uh, have fictional because I just wanted my dopamine to be in a straight mode uh, to a, a fictional level. I can read more. I can concentrate on fictional uh, book. I was starting to concentrate more on books at that point. When I started reading it, it changed altogether. So that was the start. When I read that PDF, and then across, I got into all sort of research and stuff like that. And even now, I don't think so. I know a lot of. I know nothing, but it's just from inside. You know that Jesus is not. He is a prophet, and you know he's. There's only one creator, and you know. And then I came across a lot of other things which. Actually, you know, gave me a full uh, fledged assurance that this isn't what it is actually, and uh, yeah, that's how I. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so brother, brother Tony, you've got our email address on the screen. Uh, please do yeah. give us an e send us an email, inshallah, and we will continue our discussion, inshallah, and our support yeah, for sure, you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. You're welcome, brother. Assalamualaikum. May Allah guard your mother as well, inshallah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.